So what's going on guys? Julian plays here. Uh, just using my automatic tree farm in my redstone testing world. Because ah yes, I have a redstone testing world where I test all kinds of weird redstone machines that I think up. And one of them is a fully automatic, well there's no fully automatic, but as automatic as can be tree farm. I mean, look at this. I'm trying so hard to get this TNT to fall at the right time, but I, I don't know if it's ever going to happen. Now, in this video, I'm planning to show you a bunch of machines I'm planning on using in Eli's SMP world to make my life easier. Now, this one could be used. As you know, log farm would be helpful. <clears throat> but I'm not entirely sure because first off the TNT duplicator does not work in my version of Minecraft so currently the system I have is literally just a dropper with TNT in it and the second reason is this takes a lot of bone meal and while yes I do know how and could turn this thing off at any moment this is a redstone testing world, so I'm not gonna. But even then, just using the farm is expensive. <laughs> now, over here, I've been testing stuff with, um, hopper filtration systems. Haven't been the most successful with that. Somehow got one lantern and one redstone mixed up in there. But for the most part, it works. And got some functioning flower farms actually back here. <clears throat> Pretty nice. As some may know, I run a dye shop on the SMP server. <clears throat> Dang it. Yeah. This is the only way I could find to get the thing to sit still on the hopper long enough. See? And now it slowly files out. <laughs> and yeah, this is how I could stop the bone meal. Or, you know, simply just breaking the observer. Now here is my much better automatic flower farm. Just need a block of any kind. I prefer to use Zikaba. Boom. Boom. Oh, don't tell me this thing is out of... Are these ones out of bone meal? Oh, God. Um, no. Even in my redstone testing world, things are not perfect. <laughs> I mean, it's a testing world. What do you expect? Right, throw all the junk in and honestly this thing produces more seeds than flowers but now we can check yeah these things are out of bone meal <coughs> uh, where oh yeah bone meals get out of the way recording software <laughs> um, boom 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 it should be good. Just throw two stacks in each one for now. And honestly, it's pretty simple. Boom. Works like a charm. Now occasionally, yes, one or two things flies out the sides under a piston. But other than that, I mean, just look at this thing. It's been on for mere seconds. Then we break this block, or I guess I could break that redstone. Which, by the way, this thing is just a hopper clock with one lever in it. <clears throat> so, about every second it powers here, which makes these retract and makes this one push. And then stop doing that, so the plane just gets pushed back and forth, breaking everything on it. And underneath here, 
we have ourselves our collection system. Isn't the fastest collection system, but it's there. It helps. It does stuff. <clears throat> but yeah, it's a pretty good flower farm. I mean, you just have these pistons running into, of course, observers, as it is the simplest and... Like, I know on the Java version of Minecraft, you can just take a comparator, some redstone, and a lever. Do this, 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 that, that, click that, boom. Yeah, it does that. <clears throat> and it'll just, you know, fire things like pistons over and over again. But it doesn't do... It doesn't do that on bedrock version. What does it do? I don't. Yeah, it just goes on. Basically does the same thing. So the best way is just two observers face to face. And it's thunderstorming here. Great. And wall. See? It cleaned up everything it could. There's one seed here. Because of course there's always something that has to go wrong. <clears throat> but yeah, it's a pretty good system. Now everything's in the hopper, but I doubt everything. Eh, me test. Now there's a whole lot of junk in here. but Look, I've got a cactus farm. And while yes, most of this is redstone, not quite everything is redstone. I got this really cool thing. Um, saw this in a video and I just had to test it. It's an infinite water source. Boom. And yes, I'm absolutely building that on the EJ server in my trees. Um, here is, here is my quote-unquote mob farm. Um, let's grab some more mob eggs. This was basically just me testing if I just leave the lava there, will I still be able to get the loot from things like skeletons and zombies and creepers? And the answer is yes. Server. Boom. And we can come over here and just see stuff happen. See, we already got a Nautilus shell. I don't even know how we did that. I guess I put a drown egg in there instead of <coughs> zombie eggs. But yeah, you can see a bunch of that. It works pretty well, honestly. Well, I'm sure, yes, some of it is getting burned. Most of it isn't, actually. <sighs> But yeah, those are just some things that I plan to build. I mean, I've also got some pretty absurd things here, like color changer for a beacon. Boom. Click. <clears throat> had this weird thing where I just had a pig riding around in the minecart. <clears throat> Got some 2x2 two two piston extenders. Ah uh, yes, this thing. I was just testing stuff out when I made this. But this actually will be helpful in making said mob farm. Now, while you can't see it, because I had to encase it, there's water in here. Which is encased so it doesn't break all the redstone. <clears throat> but this is basically me testing. If it pumps out water, will an observer detect that? The answer is yes. <sighs> I also have tested with some vine growing stuff. 
automatic harvesting. Uh, do I have a chest in here, or do these hoppers just... Ah, oh, yes, I have a shulker box right here. I've grown a whole lot of them, just look. His little 2x2 two two piston extender. Here's my not always working T-tip. Tea <laughs> tea flip flop. Yeah, it doesn't work every time, and I don't know how to make it work every time. Here's my flush piston door or something. Um, where's the lever for this? Back here, of course it is. But yeah. As you can see, now the door is flush with the wall. And I have this weird, amazing contraption that is a 3x3 three three piston extender that only works if you do it really quickly. Which I am clearly failing at. There. Voila. Clearly amazing. I have many attempts failed at a 3x3 three three piston door. Oh, I've got this cool system. The bubble elevator thing that swaps it from magma cube to soul sand at the top, and then should change it back to a magma cube. Which, of course, I tested this system over here block swapper. Yeah. Had this thing that was a farm. Just testing farm things. I messed around with no blocks for a bit. That was fun. Oh yes, my greatest creation yet, Bouncy Castle. <laughs> it's pretty funny that it launches you over the walls. Yeah. Oh yeah. I got this cool door. I don't know why it's broken, but it is. Oh yeah, because I got rid of that. And I did never take this out. Yeah, basically you put a hopper minecart there and you can throw down something and it'll open the door. But yeah, this is my redstone testing world. Oh yeah. Uh... Well, here's item elevator. <laughs> Got this cool thing. It says Logan. It's fun to mess around with observers and lights. But yeah. Really cool. Messed with furnace stuff there. I don't even... Oh yeah, trying to automate furnace stuff. All kinds of weird stuff in this world. Oh yeah, I had this thing going. This was in a weird automatic piston extender thing. Because you got place in the block there. And it just goes forever. But every time you get off the world, it breaks it. So unless the block is right there when you get off the world, if it's over here, it just stops working. So that's pretty funny. I have this one that fixes the problem. Because if you want to double piston extend a redstone block, 
You just need to replace this with a block. I don't even know why I still have this right here. I've clearly proven this isn't helpful in my version of Minecraft. But yeah, I would have this weird system to power all the redstone. I don't know why. Couldn't build something closer. Uh, what's this thing? Looks like a double piston extender using slam blocks. Two by two slam block door. I think some people would call this a hippie door since all the redstone is underground. Oh yeah, I saw the mumbo jumbo video experimenting with like chicken things and bat things randomizers here's also me just trying to make the thing work like I can do that but not that that's too many blocks But yeah, that's basically everything. Oh yeah, I've got a sugar cane farm right there. Forgot about that. That's about everything of interest here in this world. I've made some more functional... Th oh yeah! Uh, yesterday, I was testing how mobs go through here. The answer is they don't really. Or at least zombies don't. The one I had in here was convinced he wanted to go backwards through the entire thing and then he just stood on that ice block and burned to death because this tube is made of glass but yeah this is probably my favorite thing because I finally made this thing to be fully automatic and even if it's not I just press this button yeah But yeah, some of these things I plan to build to help. And yeah, and then sometimes we get weird trees like that that don't do the observer thing. But most of the time, observer regret. Really? You gotta prove me wrong twice in a row. Not machine, I'm trying to prove this thing can be fully automatic. Not sometimes automatic. I may need to put that observer higher just to make it fully automatic. Let's see. Then it can work like that. And it's pretty great. And of course it gets saplings and sticks everywhere. And leaves some leaf foliage over here. Like, can I get this in there in time? Ah, I need more things. We're going to watch the TNT drop. Yeah, sometimes it takes a really long time for the tree to grow. And I honestly wish it wouldn't. Boom. Pretty soon TNT should... Wait, we're not out of TNT up here, are we? Nope, we're not. Where's my explosion then? This is all still intact. This is all still intact. Oh wait, it's a funky tree. 
doesn't listen to no rules. Dang it, I need one of the automatic trees. Oh, yeah, but there. TNT falls, explodes. You got another annoying tree who wants to be real annoying. Here, on screen redstoning for you guys. Um, we just need an observer, some redstone dust, and our most helpful redstone tool, a block of glass. Now, our observer to be there. Basically, intertwined with this thing. Boom, boom, boom. Now we hit this button. It does its thing. Place that there. We can watch the TNT fall this time. Fully automatic. Boom. Alright. I think that's it for today, guys. <sighs> Make sure to leave some challenges for my challenges series. Because seriously, you guys have not been leaving enough comments about challenges series. I don't have any challenges to do. I need them. <sighs> and I know you guys want to see more SMP. I will try and work on that. See you guys next time.